Welcome back to another video from Destination J to Z. As promised, I'm coming back to you to show you how to convert your CR spotless system to make it more efficient to where you don't have to change your resin as often and will cost you less money. Let's get started. Remember, if you like this video, I would appreciate you subscribing to our channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to change out your resin in a spotless water system. How to do the conversion to get more washes out of this system. I wanna remind you to click the link here above to check out how I wash with the DI water and what the results are. It's absolutely unbelievable. With that being said, let's get on with the process. You get a wrench like this that comes with your DI water system that actually assists with breaking loose the canisters. So then we'll take that loose and I break both of them loose so that way I can do it with hand from that point forward. They will be heavy as they do contain water because this is what's in it along with the resin. I put my foot in the front to prevent it from moving. There's the first one loose. There's the second one loose. Now from this point, you can actually lay it down on its back and remove them. You can take it off while it's still standing in the upright position to keep from spilling the water all over the place. But remember, it's gonna be heavy. Now what I'm gonna do, rather than taking this other one off like I did this one, I'm gonna lay it down and show you the other technique. But it's whichever you prefer, just be careful. As you can see, taking that side off was much more controlled as I'm able to support it underneath and on the bottom. With that being said, make sure you lay these aside. Do not lose them. You will need them to reinstall your canisters. Simply stick your thumb in the center, lift up on the canister. At that point, your remaining water you can empty. Even here, you can still see that there's water in the resin. So you still have to get that out if you wanna refill these. You can drain it like this, or you can turn it upside down, take the cap off, and then just pour it out in a trash bag. You can set these out in the sun. It will drain out over time. You can see it's still coming out on this one as well. Now that you have your tanks out, simply turn it upside down, remove it. Now you can see your resin right here. Put the whole canister in a trash bag and then just start shaking. The majority will come out. As you can see, there's still some remaining that's in here that can be simply washed out. Make sure that you do not lose your O-rings in the process. Here you can see the canisters are actually clean now, they're rinsed off. Make sure that you rinse off your filter as well because there is a membrane filter that's here in the bottom. Now that we've got each one of the resin tanks off, we've got the resin containers removed 
out of the system. Now I want to show you how to do the conversion and show you how simple it is. You want your container just like this, totally empty. You remember your spacers that was in here? You take them out too. The spacers you remove, your canister you remove. If you want to save it and go back to it, you can. This conversion is that simple. How is it or what is it? I will show you. It's right here, guys. It's this simple. This looks like two pieces of PVC pipe, and you would be correct. Can you make this at home? No, you cannot. You will have to order this. I will leave a link in the description to where you can get it. It's not expensive. It is expensive considering that you're buying two pieces of PVC pipe, but essentially, if you look here at the bottom, you actually have a cone that's in the center that will center it up in your container. And I know it's hard to see, but I'm gonna to try to bring it in close so you can see it. There's actually laser grooves that's in the bottom that does not allow the resin to enter this PVC pipe. No one can cut these grooves at home unless you have a laser cutter to do that. It's that difficult. But essentially, that's all it is. And then instead of putting your resin in a cartridge, now you fill this up totally with resin. That's over three times the amount of resin going in here. I'm gonna fill one of them up and show you how it works. Once you have the resin in here full, right here, and I actually have got room to put at least another three inches in there, but I'm actually out. So all you do is set this in the center. Push it all the way down as far as you can get it. It'll look something like this. Now where you want to fill the resin to is to right here, right below the line. When you fill this up, then you would screw this back in. And the easiest way to do this one is with your carrier standing up. If you notice here, I've already removed the CR spotless label. That way you know you've already converted it. There's a hole here in the center this is where that pipe goes. There's a seal there that prevents the water from coming out. That's this O-ring right here. This O-ring will go up in there and seat to prevent the water from coming out. You only want the water to go through the pipe, through your resin, then back up and back out. Again, you hand tighten. And I only make it snug. This time I'm gonna leave the other one off because I do have to get some more resin and I will be using the link in the description below to get some more to finish filling it up. Thought I had enough to go around, but I don't. Once you do this, you just increase the capacity of your CR spotlight anywhere between six to 20 times. It's that much more efficient. Why they didn't design it from the factory that way, who knows? Probably because they want more money selling you the cartridges. Don't forget to hit that like button because when you hit the like, all it does is set the YouTube algorithm to where it shows other people this video. That's all it does. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And remember guys, I will see you on the next one.